On 9-11, I was stationed at 1st of the 3rd U.S. Infantry and set up for riot control because there had been some IMF protests. We'd already handled some in the D.C. area. We are getting ready to go up to New York. So, and that's when the Twin Towers got hit. And then we changed our posture. We were turning in our riot gear and we had set up perimeters. And that's when the plane hit the Pentagon. When it looks like it went in the Pentagon. And once they shifted it to rescue roll, everybody was just grab your gear and go. They didn't even take their health into consideration when they ran into the burning building. And they just, let's rescue as many people as we can and without any care to our health and welfare. Engine 101, fall, go town. Saw my, my friend's desk, my friend Craig. I think I was in the zone the whole time and that's when it hit me. He was my neighbor. I was trying out for special forces at the time and he was a multimedia illustrator. He asked me why I was doing what I was doing. It's so risky and dangerous. And, and Craig was like, the guy has the safest job, you know, like, yeah, that made it real. It was a loud, like a roar and a shriek. And a Marine came running out telling us to get out of the building. Fire trucks started running their lights and sirens. And then a flame came out and then it dampened everybody's spirits because that was uh, the oxygen burning up, the remaining oxygen. And then uh, it turned more into recovery as, uh, instead of rescue. Everybody just ran towards the building, even local people from the shops and whatnot. Everybody just ran in there. Everyone just helping everyone. Branch, creed, race, gender, didn't matter. It was just, you need help and I'm here to help. That was, I guess, the one awesome thing about that day. There's young people that don't know 9-11 happened, why it happened. I do have confidence in what TSA has done and we need to make sure that we support our TSA. The agents that are just checking you in, they're putting their life on the line every day. They're leaving their families behind and no one thinks about that. He joined for a reason. He joined the military for a reason. He joined TSA for a reason. He had a purpose. He continues to have a purpose. And as a family, we come together and have a purpose to support him for our nation. Having survived the 9-11, and being part of the rescue op, it just seemed to come full circle that TSA is the vessel that's in place to prevent future attacks from happening. We do so much work behind the scenes that people don't see. They only see them at the airport. But when they see them at football games or large venues and they feel safer, now they can enjoy the venue, stay there longer. Or when they take the ferry and they're like, oh, don't worry, like TSA's here, like they've cleared it. That's the confidence they have that that vessel can transport safely because it has been screened and vetted. And I wanted to be part of that big machine that everybody's going to want in place if and when an attack should occur again. I appreciate TSA's mission and its full spectrum, and I wanted to be part of that. My name is Miguel Gonzalez, and I've been with TSA since 2011.